Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today for something epic. I'm here in Los Angeles on the Where's Shmi US Edition Tour, today visiting my friend Mike, Shin Mike Yin. In the past, we've been out in his Koenigsegg Agira RS. Also over there is the Pagani Huayra Roadster. Remember the straight pipe LaFerrari and also the Pagani Huayra BC. Well, Mike has bought something new, something incredible, one of only 15 in the world of the Pagani Zonda R, the thoroughbred race car version of the Zonda, of which today we're going to take a look around and we're going to hear. And I suspect this is going to be the loudest car I've probably ever filmed. We're going to see some pretty epic flames, but first let's have a quick look at the car itself before getting it started up and then probably having my ears blown off. Here it is, Mike has bought one of the most insane cars that has ever existed, the race version of the Pagani Zonda, their first model. At the moment, the rear clam is just lifted off. We'll pop that back on later on, but before then, we're gonna be hearing a lot of this and taking a proper look at it. Now, the third Pagani in Mike's garage, we've got the Huayra BC alongside the hardcore track-focused road legal version of the Pagani Huayra, the second model officially limited to 20 units. And then over the other side, on the left, we have the Huayra Roadster, one of 100. We'll go check that out in a moment. And on the right, the Koenigsegg Agira RS Phoenix, one of 20 and the car that I filmed with Mike last time I was out here. But this, this is just beyond words. The lightweight, extreme version of the Zonda, all carbon fiber and housing the most extraordinary of power plants. The six liter V12 from Mercedes AMG, a derivative of the engine found in the Mercedes CLK GTR race car version, making 750 horsepower, the six speed sequential gearbox, the Inconel exhaust system you can see back here, to the blue tips that I guarantee are gonna be popping some fireballs out of them later. But look at the onboard suspension, obviously running with the slick tires, the gold wheels that we have as well. The Zonda R is one of 10 Zonda Rs, plus the five Revolutions, 15 cars, in total and now here in a private garage. Normally you see these things in pit boxes at track days, that kind of setup, and hopefully Mike's gonna be taking this out to do something like that, but just being anywhere near this car is an honor, is a privilege. Some details I'm noticing as well, you have the chimneys here on the rear deck. Those are actually for the cooling of the brakes. So if you have the rear clam in place, the chimneys are about here, the airflow goes down through this piping towards the inside there of the brake ducts to keep these cool when you're driving it out in anger on the track. Of course, the roof snorkel for the cooling as well through to the intake on the engine, but everything here is a work of art. It is beautiful to look at what is going on underneath. We check out the interior as well. Pop open the carbon fiber doors. Those are so light. It's incredible. Look inside here, the bucket seats entirely stripped out, the built-in cage to the carbon fiber tub that you have as well. This looks like the most incredible thing to experience driving. Completely bare, stripped for purpose for the track, based on the Zonda with a soundtrack like no other, he says. I was being too delicate with the doors there. Close them up properly. Obviously, you've got the uh, plastic windows, the perspex windows sliding open, the mirrors out here sitting above the louvres on the front arches. This thing, this is a dream. But before we go check out the other cars in a bit more detail, I think next up is for Mike to pop out and give us a bit of a sound check here in the garage of the Zonda R, which, yeah, this is gonna be pretty wild. Mike, you are a madman. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank surprise, you. surprise, right? Congratulations. I mean, Thank this is you. this is absolutely absurd and we're about to hear it. Yes. And in here, in here, indoor. The big question, though, is: Is it louder than the LaFerrari, the straight pipe LaFerrari? Let's gotta find out. <laughs> We're gonna you find be out. The judge. You be the judge. <laughs> well, this time around, I'm a little bit more prepared. I've come with earplugs <laughs> so that I'm not gonna be in complete, in complete trouble standing in here while we see some flames and whatever else is happening. So, the rear section of the car is offered at the moment. Let me squeeze past. Um, do you just start it like normal? You just press a button. And... Well, there's a little bit of sequence. You wanna check it out? Yeah, let's have a look. Let's, let's have a few buttons. I'll lean over you. I'm just kind of putting these in my ears while I'm standing <laughs> here because I don't know when it's actually going to start and I know it's going to hurt. Actually, I can't hear anything with those in. Okay. okay, so you did that very, very well. This is crazy. So basically, battery first. Yeah. And then power. I cycle a little bit. Ignition. Ignition. 
And then the Are button. Ready? I'm coming to the back of the car. <laughs> Let's take a listen. Tailpipes just lit up. I was worried you're gonna set the wall on fire or something. Yeah, they kept saying you should <laughs> burn your house down. <laughs> that is. Oh my god, it sounds so good. This is the best sounding car the whole... on the planet. I mean, I got these in, so I'm not really feeling it in the same way, but the whole room was shaking. Yes. Like, I was feeling it more through my feet and my legs than. <laughs> I could feel it through my spine. <laughs> yes, <laughs> literally. Now, can you imagine getting out on track? Oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> well, pretty soon, we're yeah. organizing, so... That's gonna be... That's gonna be very soon. Yeah, that's gonna be silly. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait, I can't wait. There's nothing else you can do about this. You can just stand here and laugh at the sheer ridiculousness of what just happened. The absurdity of this car. What, I, I like, what? Just in the garage. I've never heard a Zondera in a garage. Same. Enclosed. <laughs> this is the first time for me as well. Say both. Wow. I took the lure of the car literally last night. You're mad. Yeah. Midnight last night actually. <laughs> today. Yeah, basically today. Not even 24 hours yet. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That that that's yeah, that was just silly. That was just absolutely silly. Inconel exhaust system. Yeah. Six liter V12. I mean seeing the car like this is special. Hearing it is hearing it is even more special. Indoor and closed. I, my my <laughs> head my head hasn't fully processed this yet. That was like thirty seconds, but it was such a loud thirty seconds. It's yeah. gonna take a while to like <laughs> to understand it all. <laughs> We've had a moment just to kind of let things settle and relax a little bit to have a look as well at the other cars. In a second, we're going to be popping that back on. It's a basically four man operation and also pulling the Huayra Roadster back to this side. So the three Paganis are all together. The BC that we experienced before also, by the way, sounds incredible. This car might not have the completely standard exhaust. Officially 20 in the world. We think there are probably a couple more than that. But either way, in the full exposed carbon, it is looking the part. The follow on to the Zonda. So many things that changed based around the twin turbo V12 as opposed to the NA V12s that were found in the Zondas. I'm just still taking in all of the details of this car. Absolutely mind blown by what we're looking at and what we've been hearing as well. But I guess it's probably time to work out how to put this back on there. Now is the moment to carefully put this back on the car. Open the doors. Open the doors. I'll come and get this door. Open the doors. Do -do -do. So that we don't end up having a problem. This is a learning experience and a half. That's as far as the door goes. This is one very valuable piece of carbon fiber that's going to cover up the back of this car somehow, carefully. How do you do it? You have to line up the. The air duct for the brake cooling. Ah, yes. You can see that coming through underneath. This side needs to go a touch towards the rear. Touch towards the rear on this side. This way, right? That? Yeah, that's good. That's good. How are we looking? Pretty spot on this side. Carson, you can go down on your side. This looks about right. Oh, no, this had to go in. Hold on. This one. Well, yeah, that kind of dropped into place. Where is on. Okay. Press it down and latch it. And up then do the latches. 
like the normal ones are it's that easy it just takes four people plus some <laughs> some additional connections and then about two pins yeah. and then there are the bits back here that have to be connected back in as well plugged in okay one pin on this is one. now these are the pins at the top here ah okay so it's not an easy task doing this no, by any stretch of the okay and then it looks in oh we go. simple I'm gonna leave these panels, that's nice not the next part of this to pull the roadster over to the other side the carbon roadster with the lime green next to the Agera RS with the gold accents the Phoenix one of the 25 so this is gonna sound pretty good in its own right when it started just significantly quieter than that Zonda R did you see that doesn't sound bad that doesn't sound bad at all I actually really like Second, all three, <laughs> all three of these together in the garage. Check that out. Pagani collector, Mr. Shin Mikeyin. Awesome. No further. We don't want to damage the fuser on the tiles there. That would not be good. <laughs> it's it's disappointingly quiet in comparison <laughs> on any normal day that's really loud but um compared to that not so much today it's uh it feels like it might be about to rain so lambo start up Some peace, but yes, unfortunately, it did just start to drizzle. That's pretty loud. Yeah, this is why. I <laughs> my favorite car is the yeah. Cell. yeah. Is that an original LP700? Yes, with a Mansory kit. With the Mansory kit and Mansory exhaust, I guess. No, IPE exhaust. It's an IPE exhaust, mm -hmm. okay. But it sounds yeah. insane. Insane has been the word of the day with the sound of all of the cars. That has not been a normal day. A rather large slice of craziness in the form of the Zonda R. Now sandwiched between the two Huayras, which on a normal day are pretty loud cars. The sound of this is phenomenal, but when you've been listening to the unrestricted Zonda R, the track car without the normal regulations allowed to scream from that 12 cylinder engine. And well, you guys have heard it, this thing just incredible and i remember when these arrived when the zonda r's initially arrived and then the zonda evolution and then the revolution the 15 cars in total that have been made one of which is now right here in mike's garage in some extraordinary company what a thing just what a thing this has been it's just starting to rain outside i can hear in the background but to experience a small slice of this in a very unique setting i don't think i've ever heard seen watched anything to do with one of these in a private garage <laughs> revving away yeah the rain is coming down i'm going to leave it there we've got all of the cars parked back up a huge congratulations to mike on the most fantastic edition a pagani zonda r and i look forward to hopefully some cool stuff with that in the future for now though that is all thank you very much for watching as always guys mike's link is down below do go give him a follow yeah totally awesome that's it i'll see you again very soon Cheers!